Hello everybody, Bessie Wong here, back end with a new video and today we'll be talking about how to import 3D models to your game on a Buildbox engine. So before we start this video guys, I would like to ask you to subscribe to the channel, like and share with your friends. Let's get started. Hey guys, so once you get here to the website kenny.nl, this website is providing you with a lot of assets that you can use for free and then we can use them to import to our project in Buildbox 3D. So the first thing is, the issue that people are facing is when you import a 3D model, you get stuck with the texture, and you just have the mesh with no colors, and then you don't have to do anything because that would be useless. So today I'll be showing you how you can use low poly uh, assets. So today I'll be showing you how you can use low poly assets and how you can import them to your 3D project on Buildbox. So now let's pick a pro let's pick an asset folder here and we can use any kind that we want and then we can import it to the to Buildbox engine and we can see how we can do it. We will need Photoshop basically and then I will show you the techniques that I'm using to import the project. So the first thing we go to assets and then you will be looking for whatever the assets that you like. For example, I'll go to okay, I'll go to 3D. And once we are here on a 3D, we can for example select this uh, nature kite. And this is coming with a bunch of assets. You see the trees and the environment and the river, rocks, everything you need. We click download. And then once the download is finished, you will see a folder like this one. I'll click download here with you guys and you can see the download start. Once the download is finished, we will get back so guys once the download is finished you will get the zip folder here on your desktop all you have is to extract the folder and you will get a bunch of files inside once you open your folder you will find these assets we we need to go to models and then we need to go to obg formats because that's what we need so here basically i will open a random one for example um let's go with this one for example we need to open obg as we said let's click this one and see uh, this is visionary 3d so we can just see the models how they look basically and then we can import them to a uh, bell box so this is the for example the model that we can use and it looks really good uh, now let's jump to the part and the technique how you can use this with the texture and you can import them to bell box once your build box is open guys as always we see the templates now we let's go and create it from scratch project i'll click the wizard so this will be helpful for you to set up the basic things on your project so we click here we need the 3d we need a landscape and then let's select a uh, third person back view and here let's select free roaming and the last thing the thumbstick and uh, the skybox i would go with this one and then we can select a normal gravity and let's go with this car now we we'll let's select a grass and let's select some trees and let's set for our build box to set up our environment so the models here you can see downloading i'll go to the word stride so you can see what we have here guys here we have a really nice car we have the skybox the three and everything so uh now next step is let's import our project so now i will show you what the issue that guys are facing if you drag and drop this one right here i'll select as an object you see that we have the river but no textures if we try to drag and drop this mtl file buildbox will say well it's not recognized if we even click here and click the 3d model and go for textures and try to drag and drop this one buildbox only supporting png and gpg images okay so now let's do the trick and get it working the way we want so the first thing we will drag it here i will go to our file I'll click here and now what we have to do is open it with Photoshop I'll drag and drop here open in Photoshop I'll click OK I'll wait for the, BG, the OBG file to open and once the file is open you can see here our 3d model now what's next is let's make this bigger I'll go to 3d and then I'll go to generate UVS I'll click it and I click OK. Now it will ask me uh, for the size and the merged materials. Here we will select 1025 because that's the maximum that you can use for belt box. And I highly recommend this size. Once you select it, you click OK and then they will be generated in the UVS files for you. And there you go. So now the UVS files are generated 
and you can see now our model is all set now next step we need to go and click export 3d layer now they will ask you to export but we need to do some tweaks is we will change it to uh, we font obg and here we will change it to png once you set this you click ok and then you can wait for where you want to go i will create a folder for it and we will name it a river i'll create a folder i'll name it a river double r triple r i'll open it and then i'll click save the project is saved now i will go back and here once we close here where is here is the river now we get the model the textures and everything if you want to go with this model that you exported from photoshop you can do it if not let's try the texture directly because this is basically what we wanted from the beginning because there is no place where we can get a png texture now i'll drag it over the texture here and i will click the model first and now let's drag and drop the texture here back again texture not working you know why it's not working because the 3d model is not the same as the mesh so now i'll go back i will delete it and let's see let's see the way that we did with photoshop i will drag and drop the obg file as an object here is it drag it and drop it here now if we click it like that double click i'll click the model we'll click here the texture let's drag and drop our texture here okay and now let's go back to our model how i access that i just like a double click on the object from the side the double click and then you open it you can add the mesh and then go back to your game here you can see now guys we have the model with the texture that we wanted so the last thing i can say well let's set the position to zero and here zero as well and here zero as well well i think now everything is set let's go down so here we have our car and let's test this out for example now we need this model to be up i will drag it and drop it up a little bit like this i will just drag and drop another one here and i will make it as a solid object let's click it here and now if we click 3d model we go with collision and it can select this as a platform if we select it as a well, way let's select it as a platform and uh, we will select the physics and they will ask us for the dynamic if we select the dynamic once you touch it it's gonna move forward but we need it as a static so it never moves uh back and forward so that's what we need so now let's go to a click play dark with my love that heart is so cold all over my armor i don't want to know that babe don't fuck with my love that heart is so cold all over Oh,
is guys how you can import your 3d model into the game i hope you like this video don't forget to smash the subscribe button like and share with friends see you next time with a new video